Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today, and today is actually going to be in the Nemesis Cup, which is a Silver Arena tournament. Uh, usually I don't showcase these. Uh, I do occasionally, very rarely I understand that. But if you continue to submit them, I'll be more than happy to showcase them. And I mean, yeah, Silver Arena metas are really fun. I mean, they change up the meta each month. Uh, different rules, different ban lists, uh, different types eligible, things like that. It, it, it's really exciting. Uh, to be honest, I used to play Sylph a lot, and ever since uh, Go Battle League came out, I guess I just lost interest. I got more into Go Battle League, and uh, of course, I haven't really been doing Sylph. Uh, but, you know, it's still fun, and I'm still excited to take a look at it. And the team is going to be Polyrath, Frostas, Beedrill, Shadow Drapion, Cordelia, and Victini. Now, I'm not too f I'm not familiar with this meta. I do play, as I said, I do play Sylph occasionally, but I'm really not familiar with this specific meta because I didn't participate in the Nemesis Cup. But uh, this is the team this trainer is rocking with. And yeah, it looks really cool. So let's go ahead and just dive right into the battles. This is a six round tournament, but the third round for some reason uh, is not in this video. They didn't submit it to me because they said they got like an automatic loss or something because of scheduling issues or something. So unfortunately they lose the third round. So that's, it's not in here. They were not able to, they didn't even play the third round from what I understand. Uh, but either way, we'll see how the rest of the tournament goes. And let's just go ahead and dive right into it. We'll almost finish with the first battle. Victini will go ahead and go for the V Create right now, which is going to KO the Frostlass for sure. No doubt about it. It would KO a full health Frostlass. And that's going to be a win, so well played. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive into the next battle. We do have Victini in the lead with Quagsire. So really not a good matchup uh quacksire will be doing super effective damage of course so but victini with the confusion still doing a lot gonna switch trying to catch it not able to catch it however the opponent still throws at the credilly so this is going to be a stone edge doing quite a bit of damage they're gonna switch out into frostless so credilly is gonna go ahead and bait right now with the uh grass knot so able to pick up a shield very nice are they gonna go for the farm down no, nice counting by the opponent. They actually throw just before Credilly can get off another Grass Knot. So, beautiful counting by the opponent. Uh, Victini coming in. They do have another attack, though. Is it Shadow Ball? Shadow Ball will be enough to KO. Uh, gonna go ahead and shield, unfortunately, just an Avalanche, but that is okay. Victini is gonna go ahead and farm up enough for two V Creates and throw one, which will KO. Um, okay, so there we go. It does KO. And what is going to come in from the opponent? Going to be in that Quagsire, which makes sense. So now Victini will be able to go for the Psychic, which will KO the Quagsire unless the opponent decides to shield it, which they do not, so they let it go. In comes Galvantula, so out comes Drapion. Uh, so Drapion still has the shield. Galvantula, though, hmm, going to be doing a... Yeah, a lot of damage. Unfortunately, debuffing as well. We do see the Crunch come in. Maybe going for a debuff. Uh, and able to pick up that shield, which is nice. Come on, get to one more Aquatil. Not able to get to it. But Victini is not quite at the V Create. It does have to shield this, even though this is going to be a lunge. It still has to shield. Uh, can Victini make it to the V Create? Yes, it can. This is going to be enough to KO the Galvantula. What a crazy game. So, able to win this one. And yeah, well played. So, uh, it is best 2 out of 3, and this trainer won the first two battles, but in Silver Arena tournaments, you do play uh, 3 games no matter what, even if you win the first 2. So, we're moving on to the third game, so this Trapion is going to switch in and go for this Aqua Tail. Going to pick up the shield. Going to be able to go for another Aqua Tail, you love to see it. So, this is double super effective that uh, Makago is not switching out. So, going to pick up the second shield, absolutely incredible. Makago is going to go ahead and go for an attack. Will the Drapion shield, will they let it go? They're going to let it go, not enough to KO, and the opponent catches his Aqua Tail on this uh, Galvantula. So, nice catch by the opponent. Uh, so down goes Drapion, but that's fine. I mean, you're up two shields, which is really solid. Frostess is coming in right now. And it's probably going to be a lunge bait. It is. That is a good call by the Frostess. Frostess is going to be able to go for this uh, Avalanche right now. So Avalanche is going to connect. Able to KO and try to switch out into Gridilly immediately. They're yeah, tapping on it, trying to get out of there. Able to get out of there. In comes this Makago. Makago will throw an attack. 
Are we going to see a shield? Yes, we are going to be a rock tomb, which makes sense. So, a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, they switch into Quagsire, but this Crudilly is going to be able to farm up enough for almost two Grass Knots. Go for one of the Grass Knots. Going to be able to KO because it's double super effective, and that's a shadow as well. Able to get off a Stone Edge from this Crudilly. This is going to probably actually not KO, but it's going to do a lot. It doesn't KO, but that's totally fine. Mokogo is able to get off an attack. You can shield, you don't really have to, it doesn't matter. Doesn't actually KO. Able to get to a grass knot, that is going to be a good game and able to win three games, so you absolutely love to see it. So, very well played to both trainers. Let's move on to round two. So, we'll see how round two plays out. We do have that Polyrath into Hisuian Electrode. So, Hisuian Electrode is a grass and electric typing. Now, I admit, you know, I've battled Hisuian Electrode myself in Go Battle League, like the Love Cup, and I forget that it's a grass type sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, so. Okay, able to get a shield, or able to use a shield there, shielding that wild charge, going for the crunch. We do see a shield, okay, very nice. They could It could have been a sludge bomb, they were afraid of that. Uh, plus crunch probably KOs at this range anyway. Uh, so we do see a wild charge, oh, it definitely would KO with the wild charge debuffs. So we're going to see a crunch come in from the Shadow Drapion, and that will get the shield. And in comes the opposing Shadow Drapion. So we're going to see an Aqua Tail come in right now. This Aqua Tail is going to connect. Uh, doing a pretty good amount of damage, actually. Uh, the opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack right now. Probably, yeah, it's just going to be an Aqua Tail. No, it's going to be a Crunch. Um, maybe they don't have Aqua Tail. We do see a switch. Um, okay, so the opponent is going to go ahead and throw an attack. Sludge Bomb? Yeah, it's going to be Sludge Bomb so they don't have Aqua Tail. Doing a lot to that Polyrath, though. So Polyrath will be able to go for this Ice Punch right now. Um, and this Ice Punch is going to connect and KO the Drapion, very nice, in comes to Sweet Electrode, get to that Ice Punch, super effective damage, they do get to it, so this of course is going to be enough to KO, and there we go, it does KO, and in comes Crustle, come on, get to that Dynamic Punch, able to get to it, powerful attack, it probably doesn't KO, but it's going to be doing a lot of damage, uh, so yeah, it doesn't KO, not even close, but it does do a lot, uh, so yeah, able to bring in this Drapion and just go for the Aqua Tail, and this is going to KO. Shadow Drapion is a great Pokemon all around. Um, I don't know this meta, as I said, I think I said that early in the video. I'm not familiar with the Nemesis Cup, but Shadow Drapion is just powerful. Uh, it's just a powerful Pokemon. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, Shadow Drapion into Noctowl, okay. Uh, so... I mean, not too bad. We'll see how this plays out. Uh, Noctowl is a pretty bulky Pokemon. They're going to be able to go for a Sky Attack. Uh, will you shield it? Yep, going to go ahead and shield that. So, that would have done a decent amount. In comes Crustle, but this Drapion already has two Aqua Tails, and two Aqua Tails will be enough to KO the Drapion. Or close to it. Eh, maybe it won't KO, actually. But it's going to come very close. I wonder if the Shadow Drapion can farm down afterwards. Oh, but they do shield. Okay, very nice. At least you pick up a shield. And able to get off another Aqua Tail, absolutely incredible. So this Shadow Drapion cannot be stopped. We do see a shield there. Uh, so they double shield. Will the Drapion shield and take switch or will they let it go? Just going to let it go. Makes sense. Uh, so in comes the Polyrath. Polyrath wants to get to an Ice Punch. Going to over farm. I'm uh, going to over from quite a bit. Now, Polyrath is resisting the moves that Crystal has, so it doesn't have to shield this. Going to be a Rock Slide, but that's totally fine. And going to overform, going for the Ice Punch right now. This is going to KO. Yep, definitely going to be enough to KO the Crystal. Uh, so Crystal goes down. And in comes Noctowl. Going to go ahead and go for the Dynamic Punch. Ice Punch is super effective, but I think Dynamic Punch does do more damage to the Noctowl. So it makes sense. Uh, we do see Switch into Frostlass. Out comes Drapion. So generally, Drapion does have a good matchup here. But because Frostlass does have a shield, it's going to be able to win this matchup. That almost KOs. Uh, I think it's going to be able to win this matchup. I mean, it does have to shield this. Um, it's going to be a crunch, and I think it could farm down. Yep, going to be able to farm down. Very nice. Noctowl coming in, able to get to an avalanche. This is going to KO the Noctowl. And Frostass, absolutely amazing Pokemon, able to KO and take that win. So, able to win round two. We're going to go ahead and move into game three, though, because as I said, you play three games no matter what. Going to be Credilly into Electrode. Okay. Um, okay, I mean, we'll see uh, what they decide to go for. Looks like they're going for Stone Edge, but the Electro does get off a move first. 
um, it is going to be energy ball doing quite a bit uh, Cordelia will go ahead and go for the stone edge right now stone edge will connect doing a lot as well so now we just basically need a grass knot come on nope not quite able to get there so whatever this is wild charge or energy ball it will KO gonna be a wild charge oh never mind it doesn't KO the Cordelia but the opponent pulls a really nice swap into Drapion to catch this Grass Knot. Still does a good amount of damage. We do see a switch into Polyrath right now. Polyrath is going straight Ice Punch. Uh, this probably doesn't KO, but maybe you could Mud Shot down afterwards. Yeah, it doesn't KO, but you probably Mud Shot down. Uh, could shield it if you don't want to take a Sludge Bomb, but we'll see what they decide to do. No, just going to go ahead and take it. Okay, going to be able to farm down now. Uh, very nice. So in comes the Sweet and Electrode, gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Punch right now. This of course is gonna KO as we know. Um, so, yep, they're gonna let it go and they're gonna rely on the Shield with the Shadow Polyrath. So Shadow Polyrath will be hit with this Dynamic Punch. I mean, it won't be hit by it because it's gonna shield, right? Uh, so they do go ahead and shield, they have to shield that. In comes Shadow Drapion, Shadow Drapion will be attacked right now. Will we see a shield? Yes, we will. Going to be a Squall, so good shield. They do get that 30% attack debuff, though. So Crunch is coming out from this Shadow Drapion. Um, this is going to connect. The opponent is still not shielding. Probably just go for Aqua Tails at this point, right? I'm um, going to go ahead and shield this one up. And going to over farm. Yep, going to go for the Aqua Tail. Uh, so this is Aqua Tail is going to connect they're actually not going to shield it but they have to shield this one even if they i mean they know it's an aqua tail but they still have to shield it uh so there we go so we're going to switch into credulity the polyrath actually does farm down so we're going to bring in polyrath i think the opposing polyrath was trying to farm down uh but that was actually pretty close but able to win round two we're moving on to well round three there was scheduling issues so he took a loss there so we're moving on to round four so the Kingdra comes in, out comes Frostless. So Frostless is going to be able to just go for these avalanche attacks. Super powerful attacks coming in. Uh, the Kingdra will go ahead and shield it. But definitely wants to go for the debuff with the Aqua Zuka. This is definitely Aqua Zuka. Um, so we're going to see a shield. And no debuff, which is huge for the Frost that's going to go ahead and go for this avalanche right now. Will the Kingdra shield? If it does, it will be able to farm down. Uh, it does shield as well, so it's going to be able to farm down before another avalanche. So Kingdra and the opponent taking switch advantage. Um, all right, let's see what decides to come in. Going to be that Victini, maybe Confusion down. Octazuka is super effective, so they're definitely going to go ahead and go for it. Yeah, I mean it. I mean that actually does good damage. Unfortunately, the debuff, so you're not going to be able to farm down. So Victini will have to go for this V create. It's double resisted. But at the end of the day, let's see if it is still enough to KO. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> what am I talking about? Of course it is. So Slowbo is coming in. Slowbo is weak to Crunch from this Drapion. This is a great matchup for the Shadow Drapion. Doing a lot of damage. They do switch into Lucario. But Lucario goes down to two Aqua Tails, right? So we're going to see one Aqua Tail. And doing a lot of damage. Yeah, another Aqua Tail should be enough to pick up the knockout. We know this is Power Punch, but you, you don't really want to shield the Power Punch, but you have no choice at this point in time. So we're going to see an Aqua Tail. As I said, going to be enough to KO, but will the Drapion? The Drapion, I think, can make it to another Crunch. Oh, it doesn't even need a Crunch because Drapion is resisting the Confusions. It could get to this Aqua Tail and take this game. Uh, so that's actually going to be a crazy game. Wow, well played. Let's move on to the next battle. But that was a really good, well played game. Frostas in the lead versus Quillfish. Okay, so Quillfish really spammy with the Poison Sting and Aqua Tail. Similar to Drapion. Not similar, exactly like Drapion. Going to be able to go for it right now. Going to be that Aqua Tail. Doing a, a lot of damage actually. But this uh, Frostas is just going to go ahead and go straight for this uh, Shadow Ball right now. That will get the shield going to switch out right now into the Shadow Drapion. Quillfish will go ahead and go for an attack. Uh, they're going to go for the Aqua Tail. That's fine. They're just spamming out Aqua Tails. In comes Lucario. Okay, going to go ahead and go for this Aqua Tail from the Shadow Drapion. So, yeah, going to be able to go for this Aqua Tail. And another Aqua Tail will be enough to KO. They probably shield and go for the Farm Down. Uh, they could go for a power up. No, they don't go for a power up. They actually let it go. Oh, they didn't want to go down two shields. Okay, in comes Kingdred to farm down. Uh, so out comes the Frostless. 
So Frost is trying desperately to get to the Avalanche, able to get to it. We know that how powerful this is. It's neutral damage, keep in mind because of the dragon and water typing. So the opponent does shield that up. I know there was a visual glitch there, but they did shield that up. And they go for the Octazooka, which they actually undercharge, which is good. In comes Beedrill. Uh, this should be a good win because uh, Beedrill is going to be able to shield this one up and charge up a lot of energy. Go for the draw run against the Quillfish, take it out, and then go for a draw run against the Kingdra. That's likely what's going to happen. They charge up enough for almost two. Going to go ahead and go for the draw run right now. Uh, so that is going to be enough to KO. And in comes Kingdra going for another draw run. Very well played, able to take this win. So that is going to be enough to KO, and that's going to be a great game, yeah? Let's go ahead and move into the next battle. We'll see how the next battle plays out, but yeah, really well played. Was that game one um, in this round, or was that game two? Either way, we're going to go ahead and move into the next battle. And I'm sorry I, I didn't edit out some of these, um, some of these... Uh, I guess intros, if you will, <laughs> um, where they're choosing the teams. I didn't edit out them in this video. I do apologize for that, but most of them, not really that long. So, okay, we have a Lucario on the opposing side into this Frost last. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, they they do try and catch, but the Frost last is going to go ahead and go for the Avalanche instead of the Shadow Ball. Uh, which actually I guess they did catch so well played to the opponent there However, the avalanche still does a lot of damage and another avalanche will be enough to KO or at least come very close to KO And I think it will KO so it is gonna be an avalanche coming in right now from this frost last uh, The frost last will go ahead and oh uh, yeah, uh, the cool fish actually will go ahead and shield and we do see an aqua tail coming in This is gonna KO the frost last uh, so Aqua Tail is going to be enough to KO, totally fine. We do see the Victini come in. Victini wants to farm down, but unfortunately they do get to an Aqua Tail. Uh, so Victini will go ahead and shield. It is super effective damage. Um, so that's fine. We're going to see what decides to come in. Uh, it is going to be a Kingdra. Okay, so Victini is going to go ahead and go for the Psychic V-Create. As we know, is double resisted from the Dragon typing and the Water typing. So uh, we just see that Psychic. And we see the uh, Drapion come in. Drapion probably going for the farm down, but will it shield this Octazooka? It will not going to be able to take that. Getting that attack drop, which is definitely unfortunate. Lucario coming in, going for an attack. It's going to be a power up punch. Uh, so Drapion is going to be able to take that and go for the Aqua Tail right now. Uh, so Aqua Tail is going to connect. And okay, I mean, decent damage. Unfortunately, they're going to be able to farm down though. Uh, so in comes Victini. Victini going for the farm down most likely. Do you shield this? I mean, you have to. I mean, it's, well, it's a power up punch. It's like you don't want to, but you pretty much have to. So gonna go ahead and confusion down. Oh, it doesn't really matter. One confusion takes out the Kingdra. So that's gonna be a great game. Yeah, that's gonna be a win in that set. So we're gonna go ahead and move into the next round. So, so far like undefeated besides losing that one uh, third round, unfortunately. Uh, to the scheduling issues, but either way, Wolverine switches in. Polyrath is going to come in to catch this Icicle Spear. So beautiful catch coming in. Uh, so able to catch that, you love to see it. Uh, so Polyrath is going to try to get to the Dynamic Punch, and it does get to it. So this Dynamic Punch is going to connect. Uh, nope, going to get the shield. Uh, so the Wolverine definitely wants to get off an Earthquake, and this is probably an Earthquake. I don't imagine them going to bait right now. Well, uh, it is an Earthquake, so that is a good shield. So we're going to see an over farm on this Polyrath going for the Dynamic Punch. Will the opponent decide to shield? The Polyrath will be able to win this matchup regardless. And they do not shield. So in comes the Denny. Just going to go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. Uh, I mean, yeah, this Polyrath certainly did its job. Did what it had to do. Uh, so it's just doing some extra damage. A lot of extra damage because we do see another Ice Punch coming in. So this Ice Punch is going to connect and we do see a switch going for the Aqua Tail immediately with the Drapion looking to get rid of this Dene. Um And it will be able to get rid of it. Okay, in comes Crustle. Uh, so we're going to see an over farm going for the Aqua Tail. This Drapion has two Aqua Tails. Looks like Crustal pretty solid for the Nemesis Cup. We have seen couple of them already. Drapion, as we know, really solid as well. So we're going to see an, another Aqua Tail. This will be enough to KO and the opponent just lets it go and that is going to be a good game. Very well played to both trainers. We're going to go ahead and move into the next battle. So it should be the second game of this, 
of this round. So let's see how it plays out. And again, a little bit a long get. I didn't edit out this part uh, of the, the each video uh, or each battle, I should say. So again, do apologize for that. Usually I do edit it out, but that's okay. Most of them are not long. So you just chill with me for a couple extra seconds, right? You don't mind hanging out with me. Uh, so we do have the Polyrath into the Wolvery. And okay, picking up a pretty good matchup. Um, so they switch out into Zwilius. Okay, this is still a good matchup, but you might want to leave at some point uh, just because you have another good matchup. Uh, Frost has another, <laughs> yeah, another good matchup here. Um, you do have to watch out for like the, is it Dark Pulse or Crunch? I think it's Dark Pulse. So Frost has, is going to go ahead and chill this. They're going to bait with the Body Sim, so that's a good bait by the opponent. But Frost has, will be able to go for this attack right now, going for this Avalanche. Um, that will KO, they're just going to let it go, in comes Crystal. Crystal going for the fawn down, but we're going to know they're not going to be able to get to his Shadow Ball. So Frostess is going to go ahead and get to this Avalanche, doing a lot of damage. Uh, so Crystal farms down, but that's totally fine. Going to bring in the Polyrath. Okay, we're going to see uh, an attack come in. Going to be with that Rock Slide, doing quite a bit of damage, even though it's resisted. Polyrath is going to go ahead and go for this Ice Punch. This is going to KO. Um, so, yep, yeah, it's gonna KO. Switching into the um, Drapion right now. So, Drapion just wants to get off, probably go for a debuff, get off as much damage as possible. We're gonna see an attack come in from the Wall Range. This could be an Icicle Spear, so nice call by the Drapion not to shield. We're gonna see a crunch right now. The Drapion has two crunches, or almost two crunches. I think they have two, we'll see. So, crunch, yeah, they do have two. Now, we're gonna see a bait with the Aqua Tail. This bait makes a lot of sense. But uh, they have to shield, right? They do shield. Uh, can Drapion make it to another crunch? Okay, the opponent does throw. Going to go ahead and shield and go for the crunch. And uh, that should be a good game. Uh, I think Drapion can make it. Yes, it can. So it looks like that was a good undercharge there. And Drapion is going to be able to get off this crunch. That is going to KO that uh, Wolverine. That is going to be a good game. Very well played. We're going to go ahead and move into the next battle. Going to be Frostess into Zwily. So picking up a really good matchup here. Uh, they're going to switch into Wolverine, so it looks like the process is staying in and going immediately for the Shadow Ball. Just wants to get off some damage, and then probably going to bail into the Polyrath. They do shield. No, going to bail into the Drapion. Okay, so... Okay, I mean, getting shield advantage and then switching into the Drapion, you have two answers in the back right now to that... Um, uh, to that, uh, what is it? To that Zwilius, right? So I guess that's why they went into the Shadow Drapion. Uh, because even if you lose this matchup, it's okay because you still have two answers in the back uh, to that uh, Zwilius. So you could go ahead and let this go. Uh, unfortunately, Drapion did use a shield. It doesn't want to use a sh another shield. Probably would have taken switch advantage there, but we'll see. Polyrath is going to come in. Going to go ahead and go for the Ice Punch right now. So we'll see what the opponent decides to do, and that they'll just let it go, okay? So this could be an Earthquake, it probably is, but it's not going to be enough to KO the Polyrath. Uh, it is an Earthquake, we do see a shield. The Polyrath is going to go ahead and go for this farm down, I think? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, they are going to be able to get that farm down before another Earthquake. In comes Wileyus, but this Polyrath is stacked with energy, going to go ahead and go for the Dynamic Punch. And we do see a shield going to be able to go for the second dynamic punch. Oh my gosh, this is going to be enough to KO. What is in the back? Oh, it's not. Never mind. It's not going to be enough to KO. Frostess is coming in. Out comes the crystal. But this Frostess will be able to get to a Shadow Ball. But will it be enough to KO? It's going to do a lot of damage. It might not be enough to KO. It is not. They're going to be able to farm down. But the beautiful thing here is that Polyrath is resisting the moves from Crystal, So it's not going to KO. Unless if they get off two attacks, can they get to another attack? No, Polyrath is able to fund down. I think Polyrath can make an Ice Punch. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, what a crazy game. Able to win that one. This was the third game, so I th like they won the round anyway. So I guess it didn't matter. So we're going to move on to the next round. And I believe this is round six. I believe it's the final round. So we'll see. So Crystal on the opposing side into the Shadow Drapion. Um, so... Okay, looks like both trainers are still staying in. We're going to see an Aquatel come out. Aquatel going to be super effective damage. 
Uh, as we know, two Aquatels will be enough to KO another Aquatel. So this is going to KO or get a shield. Probably get a shield from the opponent. This Drapion is absolutely going to town. No doubt about it. They did shield it up. Will the Drapion decide to shield or will they let it go? Just going to let it go. It's not enough to KO, but unfortunately, the Crestal can farm down. So Polyrath coming in. They switch immediately into the Shadow Drapion. Going to go ahead and try to get to the Dynamic Punch. Not quite. The Drapion will go for an attack right now. We do see a shield, just going to be a crunch, a little bit unfortunate there. Plus, we do see an attack drop, which is really unfortunate. Not an attack drop, but a defense drop, excuse me. So, really unfortunate there. But Polyrath going for the farm. Oh, it's going to be able to get the farm down, but unfortunately, the Drapion will get to another attack. But they went for crunch. They're going for another crunch. So, that tells me they don't have Sludge Bomb. So, very nice. Uh, so what is going to come in? Going to be uh, Beedrill, so we're going to switch out into Frostless right now. Frostless wants to get to an Avalanche, not quite able to get there. They're going to go ahead and go for an attack. Just going to let it go, going to be a drill run. Going to do a lot of damage as well. So this Avalanche is coming out. And this is going to uh, not connect because they do shield it up. In comes Crystal. Crystal will be able to farm down. It's all coming down to Polyrath. Polyrath, I think, might be able to pull it on out because it has stacked energy. So we're going to see a shield right now. We'll see. Going to go ahead and go for the Ice Punch. But the Polyrath does have another Ice Punch. Actually, going to undercharge it. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful undercharge because I think Polyrath needs two Ice Punches to KO the Beedrill. One will not be enough. So we do see this... Uh, Ice Punch come in. Yeah, they do need another one. Able to barely get to it thanks to that Ice Punch. Oh my gosh, what an amazing play. Thanks to that Undercharge, able to win this game. That is a really good play. Oh my gosh. When are you competing in regionals? I'm telling you, that was a great play. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. It would have been a loss because Beedrill would have been able to thumb down before that second Ice Punch. So well played with that Undercharge. So anyway, Crystal is coming in in the next round. Out comes Polyrath. Polyrath is going to go ahead and take this attack. Uh, so it's going to be an X scissor, so that's totally fine. Polyrath able to take an attack. It is resisting the crystal attacks. So we're going to see the dynamic punch right now. Uh, so going to be doing a lot of damage. We're going to see an attack coming in from this crystal. Uh, it's going to be an, another X scissor again. Polyrath able to take that. Going to overform a lot. Go for the ice punch. If they shield, Polyrath can go for another ice punch, but I don't think they'll shield. They'll probably let it go. Uh, they do let it go. And what is going to come in now? This Polyrath has an attack ready to go. It is going to be, is that Beedrill? I think it was Beedrill. We're going to see an Ice Punch come in towards the Beedrill. And it is Beedrill, so doing a lot. We do see a switch out into Victini. Out comes Noctowl. So trying to get to a Psychic, able to get it off. This Noctowl probably will shield this attack. So Psychic coming in from the Victini. And it does get the shield, very nice. Uh, they are, we're going to see, okay, we're going to see an attack come in from the Noctowl, totally fine. Uh, the shield, yep, going to go ahead and shield, makes a lot of sense. Um, they're going to get to another attack though, unfortunately, I didn't realize they had that much energy, so Victini, going to go ahead and double up on shields. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go for this attack right now. So this attack is going to get the shield, try to get to one more V create, no going to switch out to reset the debuff, I like that play. Uh, of course, you want to reset the debuff, so the next attack will do more damage. We're going to see a Sky Attack into the Shadow Drapion. They switch into the Beedrill. Crunch is coming out from this Drapion right now. And this is going to do a lot. It's enough to KO. In comes Noctowl. Able to get to the Aquatail. You don't even need that Victini. This is going to KO, and that is going to be a good game. And that is going to be basically yeah, undefeated in every single round. Every single game besides that one round where unfortunately scheduling issues, which is what they said, they had to take a loss. Definitely unfortunate there, not really sure what happened. Uh, so this trainer is going to be able to go 5-1 in this tournament, which is incredible. We still have uh, the third round in the final game, or in the final round, third game. So able to pick up a shield there. We're going to see an attack come in from the Shadow Beedrill. Um, and it is going to be a drill run, so beautiful shield. Crunch coming in from the Shadow Drapion. Um, so this is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, trying to get to an Aqua Tail. No, no, no. I guess maybe they're trying to fun down. Okay, I like that. But you have to shield if you want to fun down, of course. It's going to be an X is a... Uh, yeah, we're going to see a fun down. Able to get it. So an aggressive fun down. Uh, so what is going to come in right now? 
it is going to be the... Was it Drapion? I'm not t quite sure, but either way, Aquatel is going to go ahead and go for... Uh, yeah, it's going to be Drapion, so Aquatel going to be able to go for... Okay, they're going for a crunch now. It is resisted, but they're going for the debuff, I guess. Um, and able to pick up a shield. You'll love to see it. So no debuff there. Able to get to another Aquatel. That Drapion is over farming. So this uh, Aquatel is coming out. Going to connect, and the opponent is going to go ahead and throw an Aquatel, which will KO, but that's totally fine. I mean, at the end of the day, this round doesn't matter anyway, because it's still a win, but still, uh, you know, it's just playing. Uh, the, so the first one, okay, first one is coming in. We're going to see a dynamic punch, super effective damage, probably going to bail out into Victini. Yeah, going to switch into Victini because you don't want to take a power up, whereas Victini is resisting the moves coming in from first one, most of the moves. Certainly power up. Uh, looks like, I guess they don't have Thunder, maybe they have Mirror Shot, but either way, another power up, Victini is going to be able to farm down and then go for an attack, like a V-Create, uh, against the back, uh, back Pokemon, and that is going to be a great game and a great video. Thank you so much for sharing your tournament with us, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.